Good morning. I'm Dr. Manmeer Bhatia, a senior neurologist and a sleep specialist from Delhi. So have we wondered what happens when we sleep? Or what is or why do we really sleep? I'm going to be touching upon one topic today and that is the relationship of sleep and memory. And in very simple words, and I hope I can convince you by the end that not only you remember to sleep, but you also sleep to remember. Or in other words, do you sleep to learn or do you sleep to forget? So coming from the very beginning or starting from the very beginning is that we are exposed to numerous things all through the day. The brain receives inputs almost continuously, the time, the waking periods that we are interacting with any form of substance. These things need to go and get stored in the brain. The brain, of course, has a limited capacity. Think about it something like the hard disk of your computer. If we overload the computer, the computer will crash. So the brain also sends out signals that I am overloaded and that's a different phenomena which is sometimes called as a burnout in other words. But for the time being, so this has to go and get stored. Some things are necessary and some are unnecessary. The necessary ones need to get stored and cemented so that we can recall them later. Unnecessary ones need to be removed and create space for new memories to be stored. All this process happens in sleep. So the necessary ones get stored in sleep and there is like a cleanup happening during sleep. And that's equivalent to something, imagine like a vacuum cleaning or even you clean up your room or your cupboards, etc. So if the brain is not cleaned, there will be accumulation of junk or, and this will then lead to damaging the brain cells. So thus, it's really important and essential to have a good night so as to make place for new memories and store what we really acquire and that is the storage of memory. So thus, sleep to learn and sleep to forget.